Hey there, it is Rachel, and many of you know that I do a lot of presentations at doctor's offices and companies and other organizations. Maybe, in fact, that's how you even found me. And my favorite part of doing these presentations is the questions at the end. I love answering parents' questions directly. What I find, I will tell you, though, as I answer parents' questions and look at the trends that I've noticed over the past decade of doing this, is that often we want our kids to be able to do things that we as parents cannot do ourselves or do not do ourselves. I'm going to give you a couple of examples of that and then what I suggest that you do about it if you want to foster better behavior in your children. So the first thing that I notice that we ask our kids to do, but we're not so good at, is we ask them to stop interrupting us. So we're in the middle of talking to another adult, maybe it's a spouse or a friend, and they keep interrupting us as we're trying to have a conversation. And what I have found is that, and I actually noticed this when I was doing a whole training on interrupting, I found that I and most of us actually interrupt my kids very often. So maybe they're playing together and I'll say to them, hey, what do you want for dinner? Or they're doing something and I'll stop what they're doing to ask them a question that is related to my agenda. Very often it is the fact that we are interrupting them when they are doing something and yet we ask them not to interrupt us when something is important to them. If we're interrupting them when something's important to us, we have to realize that they're learning to do the same thing. The other thing I hear that this is probably even more common, parents are asking me to help them teach their kids to stay calm even when they're frustrated with us even when they're disappointed, maybe we told them they couldn't have something or do something, we want to teach our kids to be respectful anyway. The reality is we're not respectful of our kids very often when we are frustrated or disappointed or annoyed. And a lot of parents will say to me, well, Rachel, I asked my child calmly the first three times to do something, like clean their room or put their shoes away. And eventually I do start yelling at them or I do start becoming disrespectful because I've asked them calmly the first three times. But what that indicates is that you are calm when you're not frustrated. As soon as you get frustrated, you become disrespectful or mean or start to, start to threaten things. And very honestly, kids get frustrated more quickly than we do. First of all, because they're less mature than we are. And second of all, because they're being told what to do way more often than we are. So we are asking them to stop interrupting, to be mature even when things aren't going their way, yet we struggle with that too. That's actually okay though. And what you wanna do is use that to your advantage. Because if you are trying to teach your child to do something like stop interrupting or be more mature when things aren't going their way, you can work on this together. You can say, you know what, I've asked you to stop interrupting, but I realize that sometimes I do that too. Let's each make a plan for how we'll interrupt less and let's work on this plan together. Or if you want to work with your child on them being more respectful when they're disappointed or frustrated, tell them you're going to work on it with them. Join together in this and show them that you have things that you want to work on as well. And very honestly, when kids are allowed to coach you and help you gain new tools, they're more likely to be coached by you and gain new tools for themselves. Now, I am doing a podcast episode this week that you can check out where I give another example of how to handle us asking our kids to do something we are not very good at. So I encourage you to check that out. You can find it at rachel-bailey.com forward slash 76. And if you want even more solutions and support, check out my parenting academy, rachel-bailey.com forward slash parenting-academy. I'll see you again soon.